months now, Vion has been telling you about precautions to be taken to avoid contracting COVID-19. But what happens if you do get infected with this deadly virus? Medical experts say that 15 to 45 percent of coronavirus patients face many complications. And some of the side effects can be neurological as well as psychological in nature. Life isn't easy for all COVID-19 survivors. And our next story examines. What happens when you are heavily sedated and hooked up to a ventilator for a prolonged period of time? For COVID-19 survivors, life is an uphill battle. At Barcelona's Val de Hebron Hospital, one rehabilitation center bears testimony to the struggles of COVID-19 patients and survivors. Several of them are trying to recover their motor skills lost as a consequence of being heavily sedated and other complications like strokes. Doctors say that anywhere between 15 and 45 percent of coronavirus patients suffer from neurological, respiratory, motor and psychological complications. Several patients lost motor functions and suffered from cognitive impairments. There were patients who walked out of the ICU and that's it. We did not do anything else and patients who could not move an arm or leg, that couldn't walk or speak, that had cognitive impairments. Many patients have showed signs of diffusal cerebral edema at the central level that does not allow them to think, that makes them slow, they do not remember things, they have memory loss. For 62-year-old Daniel Katie, even after recovery, COVID-19 proved to be much more than just a viral infection. He was robbed of movement in the left half of his body after he spent 21 days in an induced coma and suffered several strokes. But now, after undergoing physiotherapy at the rehab center, he is able to talk and walk again and has only a message of hope for others. The deep love that I have for my wife I have been married to her for 38 years and she is the love of my life, just like my children. And having her always present has helped me. Secondly, my strong religious convictions. I deeply believe in God. I am very convinced that He has helped me. He has taught me to have values in my life. I do not long for anything more than one more day of life. I am happy with what I have. I do not envy anyone and therefore I have been very happy. While SARS-CoV-2 usually attacks the lungs, COVID-19 patients have been known to form small blood clots which trigger pulmonary embolisms and cause a stroke. But doctors say that patients recover from most of these complications and that is what gives hope to the healthcare workers tending to them daily. The most positive thing is we see that they recover, that all these complications evolve favorably. People are happy and we have been able to treat them. In the end, we have been able to act correctly and we believe that we have been able to treat all the patients who have needed it in the best possible way we know. We have given everything we can offer to the patients. The novel coronavirus has changed the world order and forced all of us out of our comfort zones. But for COVID-19 survivors who suffer these complications, the real struggle is to relearn some of the most basic functions of life, functions which we all take for granted. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.